another victim in this year Babylon system. Hey. And as you said about the market and the business here, you know, it's just slowly coming back around, mm -hmm. you know. To me, music like it's like a never-ending circle. You know, what goes around always comes back around, mm -hmm. and we've seen the re re uh, um, re of um, Lovers Rock coming back. Okay. You know what I mean? And it's kind of reaching more more um, people than before. Mm -hmm. Now, that, go go into the the, the, um, the youth work. Um. <coughs> Sorry, what did kind of um, set to that direction? It's in the because it, it was working the youth for a while. Um, you know something. Um, Youth work is a very, I would, I would put it, it's a very interesting job, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You get to meet kids from all different walks of life, you know what I mean? And if you can do something inspiring to help, to, to help them forward, you know what I mean, to take that next level. Because I'm always there supporting, giving advice, and you know, we do what we can do. So it's just passing on our, our skills, our life skills to the younger generation so they can, you know? Yeah. And it's good to have a lot of men in there, you know what mm. I mean? Because we're not represented much as it is. But and sadly, okay. there's a lot of youths that need fatherly figures. So, yeah, even mentors. Us. So it was good to actually do something like that, you know. I have did it for a while on a voluntary um, basis, then I started to do it differently. So that, that, that is one of the things I do, you know, I even take them to studio to get them to do well, I was just going to say too, did and you find it, any talent? Um, yeah, man, you'd be amazed, man. There's so much youths out there that, you know, they've got so much talent, it's unbelievable. But as you said, we need the meet, we, we need the forum to take them forward. That's true, that's true. And, um, well, we, we go from the youth first, then we go to the acting. The acting, <laughs> my God. And sir, right. So, hold on, Lenny, what are you doing for the carnival? Where are you going to be? Well, I, to be honest with you, never, um, every year, I, my birthday is the 23rd, yeah? Wow. So every year I celebrate at St. Mark's Road. And um, I must say, it's been, so far every year, touch wood, it's been great. You know, um, some of the listeners turn up, and um, even every year you meet new people, and this corner, where we call it the Unity Corner. Because if you come into the carnival to, like, Make nice and just cast for us. You can't come to St. Mark's Road. So you see that people, you hear that straight away from the horse's mouth. St. Mark's Road. Trust me, Neville Morris is going to be there too. All yes. right. Is that all right? Official. Also, IAP. Yes, IAP. IAP. How many days you um, um, Yeah. You want to say that? famous. Worth. All right, you see, quite a few lot, you know, the whole crew. S Sylvie Wonder, fresh from Jamaica. Uh, Sylvie yes. Wonder, fresh from Jamaica, yeah. And so, I myself. So this year is definitely going to be yeah, a, 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 a I'm coming, unity. I'm coming to party with you, King. Trust yeah, you go. All right. And do remember, you know, how we actually run. It's, it's like, it's a party. It's like a party. Because you're in, in the carnival, people like they go to the carnival and it because they close it's so closing people don't enjoy it no more but you can come to my part of st mark's road and you will enjoy it because you don't have to worry about finding place to go to the, to the loo mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about um people pushing you can you just relax and food and drink and everything is there right so just come and enjoy st mark's road then ranks birthday bash each time the place to be right? st mark's road and remember a whole load of artists, I myself, and we're just going to celebrate cool Lenny Rang's birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Trust me, enough juice too. <laughs> All right. All right. And we got fresh juice too, you know. We got, we, we, we got, we got some fresh juice, man, called the, um, the fruit, uh, fruit smash, which is the wow. new thing, the new lick. All right. All right. See that? <laughs> and that's a party lick. You can say you heard it first, yes? Yeah. yeah. Well, Mr. Neville, Mr. Neville, before we go into your next track, we're going to play another track and then, um, Give you a little insight of uh, Johnny Johnny Dalla, right? Oh, my play, my, my, <laughs> my, my, my acting debut. debut. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's go into that. Yes, let's do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. How did that come about? Well, you know, I get a call and say there was this play going on, and they, they were looking for singers. You yeah. know what I mean? So when I went there, there's quite a few UK artists there. You know what I mean? And it was just an honor to fit in. Yes. So you know, we had Peter on in the lead role. Um, play was about uh, a brother that you know was growing up in the ghetto and went out there to make it big but along with his friends supporting yeah. and family you know and it, it was just a wonderful atmosphere something that hit the road um, we, we took off from London to 
Birmingham to Manchester. And it's a play that was written by um, this Jamaican playwright, um, Delroy Morgan. Okay. I should not forget his name. <laughs> yes. And um, yeah, so is that is a play? Did it did it like on video or something that you, you, it can be? I'm not sure they did a video, but you know, it's, it's a, it was um, we had a whole musical backlight. We had mm. live bands, and you know, the scenes were just wonderful. Trust me, it was just something amazing to be a part of. But I didn't actually see it. You know, I just read up article yeah. and about it. I would and love to see. It. You know, the man them love laugh after my character. You know? <laughs> what was your character anyway? Th them call my character Mango Head, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and he was just like comical, you know. But it was just for, uh, <laughs> trust me, the whole lot. Sylvia Teller, um I think Winston was in it, Peter and Ingeel, um, yes. um Winston Reedy, oh, the right. legendary Winston, Winston Reedy. Reedy. Yeah. So you you can you knew what imagine. was happening. You can imagine. And he's a fun, he's a funny man See as well. Yeah. So, Ping Wing, the comedian. Well, yeah, man. Yeah. It was a star cast. And there you go. Yeah. Well, it was like a, a really family pack. Mm -hmm. uh, Definitely. That. But there you go. The man is the man is full of. Uh, now, what, what what what's your plan now for 2003? All right, we're currently working in the studio, get a, trying to knock out a howl bomb. Um, I'm looking forward to doing some shows soon. Mm. As I, you know, I was just jacked on my jacket a while ago to remember Vibes. Vibes has got his promotion. You, you, you know, the RGR yeah. family. So right. hopefully we'll be there doing our part there, doing our part, you know, supporting. And um, mainly it's just looking forward to the album. Now. Okay. You know, so far we've got um, we've we've done some work with um, Patrick Donegan from Progressive, mm. and um, we're gonna be doing some work with Mafia and Floxy. That's hopefully. great, great. And do remember, you know, that um, whatever you do, if you got a little spare time, tune into Star Vibes, ENT Entertainment Most every certainly. single time, right? Most because certainly. the information is is. 100 percent and we we'll let you know what's going on Trust me. and it's the in thing for 2013 carry on carry on see yeah. right, well said yes well we've done about the Johnny Dalla um Mr. you mind me call him Mr. Mango eh? oh my god <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they call him Mango eh? because hey. why? If, if, if the mango <laughs> we don't know why them call him Mango is one of the sweetest fruit from Jamaica. I don't know why they want Mango. <laughs> was, was, huh? was it? Uh, well, I'm going to say, it must be the ladies who call him. Uh, well, it, it's one of the characters in the play, you know what I mean? But I was Mr. Owning Gill's little bridge, you know what I mean? Uh, and we used to sit down and write music. That's how the play portrays. So, uh, you know, happening in real life, we are musicians and singers. You know? But it was just everything yeah, just worked out beautiful. Yeah. Great, great, great. And um, yeah, so. What message do you have anyway right now for like young talent and the youths them, you know, in, the, in, in, in most of England, them just going well, on madness? Sometimes the music business can get disheartened and you know, you feel down, but never stop doing what you're doing, you know what I mean? Mm. As long as you believe in yourself and there's people out there that's always willing to give an hand. So if you can find them out, most importantly, it's good to network, mm. you know what I mean? Keep believing what you do and do what you do best. Right. And um, well, lastly, because as you know, that time running out on us, you know. Um, are, are you still? Oh yeah, we're gonna we, we're gonna. Um, That's my last thing. You want to play? I'll, I'll, I think we can get two more two yes. in before time up. But um, what about um, you used to work with um, what's his name, Mr. Rose? Is, are you still? That's my producer, Trevor yeah. Rose. Yeah, we're still we're still in touch. Um, as a matter of fact, we got some, some work scheduled, but he's based in Luton at the moment. Mm. But, you know, it's just for us to find a journey there. He came down the other day and, you know, we kind of worked out a schedule okay. what we're going to do. And so far, so we're looking for the, how we put it now, the rematch and the time. Uh -huh. it's, we, 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 me and Mr. Rose have a good format. You know, Mr. Rose was currently part of the Jungle Rock crew. Okay. So, you know, yeah. Right, we're gonna we're gonna go into our, another track and um, finish off with two more track. And oh, you're gonna be yeah. Right, Once again, I wanna send out a big shout to my son, Mr. I Cool and all my listeners right now and Star Vibes Entertainment. And do remember all the family and check out Star Vibes Entertainment on your internet, which is ENT Star Vibes Entertainment dot com. Right. So you can't be feel to find out what's going on. I tell you, very interesting what you find in there. Very, very interesting indeed. Uh, whatever you do, you know, it's, uh, don't lock out and it's free. Remember, Star Vibes ENT, Star Vibes Entertainment, every time. Right. The next one we're going to play now, Mr. Neville Marshall. Okay. 
Because I've got to get you back. Um, I think I did that on fashion. Yeah, I've got to get you back. That's another track, a signature track by um, Steely and Cleavy. I think Mr. Honeygill is on piece of that track also. Yeah, man. All right. Let's go. And big up uh, Peter in the way there. <laughs> oh, yeah, get well, get well, bro. I just want to say a big respect to the RJ family for investing their time in reggae music worldwide. Trust me. And, you know, you guys keep whatever you're doing because it's, it's just, it's reaching the people. I want to big up Sister Isis in the studio also, Mr. Vibes, management, Carnell, respect. You know what I mean? And to all the man I'm in the studio, you know, again, keep up the good work. Yes, Lenny. Right, um, I, I, we're gonna demand a live <laughs> Mr. Never Marasin. Right. Right. You're gonna do, do a couple of for us. All right, so this is my new single. I'm gonna give you a piece of that, yes. Right. And it's entitled One More Chance. It's been a long time since I haven't called. It's enough that I've forgotten you at all. Giving you some space, giving you some time, hoping you'd forgive me, that you would change your mind, cause I remember, when you said you love me true, now there is just one thing, I'd really like to ask you, you said you love me. Why couldn't you give our love just one more chance? <laughs> you said you love me. Why couldn't you give our love just one more chance? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. We Vive Jamming Radio. Simply the best. 98.3. Revive Jamming Radio. Simply the best. Well, what can I say? Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A million times. And um, we're going to play the last tune. And, uh, you know, if, if you all message to send to anybody you want to send any greetings or anything like that, it's no Morrison, it's all yours. All right. First of all, I want to say, you know, first of all, my condolences to um, the, the Watson family. I know they're going for a rough patch at the moment. You know what I mean? Um, I want to big up... Um, Michael Clark, my cousin there, um, Clive, and to all the family, the Watsons, the Henry, you know what I mean? We have to big them up. If I, if I came on here, I didn't say nothing to them, boy, I would have would go. You know, big up all my families and friends, you know? And um, just for all the people that support me through the years, my recording labels, you know what I mean? Um, each and every one, thank you for your input, you know what I mean? And to all you fellow artists out there, just keep doing what you're doing, you understand me? As, he, as you know, a day must come, you know what I mean? And we've got to stay strong. You know, with all the radio stations that's been supporting and giving us, uh, us their love, you know, we just, we know. Right. There's a day. Thanks. And um, for lastly, you just let you know, you know, where will be your, your... I'm a manager. I think you didn't hear me. <laughs> to all my fans then. I did say that before. <laughs> Big up all my fans. But let me echo it again. To all my fans. All right. You know what I mean? And... Um...